Hello, welcome to Steam McDonald's Arts and Crafts, and today what I'm going to do is some experiments to see if we can colour or change the look of the resin using some household ingredients. I've got some mustard, some English mustard, some curry powder, some ketchup. We don't eat much ketchup in our house, so we only have it in these little pots, and some red sugar. I'm going to do it in some different moulds, and we will see how it gets on. I think it might work. But who knows? I'm going to be using the Jade Action Times 3 UV resin for this. This is my recommended resin. I love this resin and it is really UV resistant as well. The first one I'm going to mix up is the sugar. Now I'm sure like sh sand, sugar is going to introduce quite a lot of air into it. But we will see. I've put a lot in because I want it to be quite a solid finish when it comes out. I want to say an awesome thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. They're really enjoying the series that I'm doing on how to set up your craft business. And we've been talking about that a lot in the group. So if you want to join that, the link's in the description below. So giving this a gentle tap here, as you can see, because I want to try and release as many bubbles from this as I possibly can. It is quite thick, and that is because I've added a lot of sugar to it. Because sugar's quite heavy, and if it doesn't dissolve, then it's going to sink right the way down, and I want to try and avoid that if possible. I want to say as well to all the people that got me a coffee last month, thank you so much. I'm currently saving for a 3D printer to use on both this channel and my other channel with my resin work and my crafting stuff. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. So topping this up and then I will give it another squidgy widgy and a gentle tap because I am so gentle. And then I will move on and leave this to cure. So the next one I'm going to do is the mustard. I'm not sure if this is going to come out or not. I don't think it probably will. Mustard doesn't contain too much water, so that's not going to affect it. Also, if you like other crafts and you really enjoy looking and watching other crafts, then check out my other channel. Again, the link for that's in the description below. I do lots of different crafting over there. Now, this actually mixed in really easily, far quicker than I thought it was going to mix in. And mixed in really well. There was no gloopy bits or lumpy bits to it. I have stirred it quite well and I'm going to pour this in. I don't think it will affect the curing because, like I said, there's not too much water in this. Now I'm pouring it slowly as I always do in this mould because if not you can trap bubbles at the bottom of this mould and I don't want to do that because it spoils the rim of the actual vase or bars however you want to say it. Pouring it right to the top, I will give it a little bit of squidgy widgy, that will release a few more bubbles and then I will top it up again a little bit. So we'll see how that gets on. Put the lid on, don't want to waste that. Then the next one I'm going to be doing is the curry powder. Now curry powder is a dry product, so again this isn't going to affect in any way the curing of the resin. I, I assume it won't, but I'm not sure if it will dissolve into the resin or give it any colour. And it really was difficult to mix in. Not that it didn't mix, it just there was lots of little specks and things about. I didn't think this was deep enough and there was enough in there. So of course, add a bit more, pop that lid back on and mix that all in. So it's mixing in. It's not going to affect the curing because of the fact that it is a dry product and I'm making it in one of my favorite little pot molds. I use these so often as gifts for people for cuttings and things. If you want to become a member of my website and benefit from free downloads and newsletters, the link for that is in the description as well. So check that out. I always put loads of information in the description and the description is sometimes hard to find on YouTube these days. But I put lots of stuff, links to products, links to useful things and discount codes when I get them. So check out the description. Support this in right to the top. Just checking around the edges to make sure that there's no trap bubbles, which there isn't. So we can let that cure. Now this is the one I'm most concerned about because tomato ketchup, I think, not 100% sure, contains quite a lot of water. So I'm not adding too much of this into the resin. Less than 10%, probably about 4% here. And it will also, I'm concerned that it's going to cause it to flash cure, but we will see. 
it didn't mix in quite as easy. And when I first looked at it, it looked a little bit grainy as well while it was mixed in. But as you'll see towards the end of this video, actually, it's quite a surprising result. It did take a little bit longer to mix in. And I was a bit more vigorous with the mixing of this before I poured it. But I was quite surprised with how it comes out. Again, pouring this slowly into this mould. And this is a mould for keeping pens and little bits and pieces. Pulling it right up to the top. I do give it a bit of squidgy widgy, And then I go over it and everything else using a long neck lighter. Never a torch, remember. A torch burns too hot and it will melt your silicone mould to your resin where a torch flame, uh, where a lighter flame won't do that. It doesn't burn hot enough. Once I've gone over those, I'll let them all cure up and we can see what they come out like. Well, these are all cured now. I'm really interested to see how well they've come out. The sugar is the first one that I did. So that's going to be the first one. that I love that mould. It demolds really easily. I think that's come out very, very pretty. I probably should have added some more sugar at the bottom because where it's settled and the resin has come to the top of the mould, you've got a clear bit. But actually, in effect, I think that looks quite pretty like that. And I think sugar definitely works well. It's a dry ingredient. It's not going to cause any problems and it's not going to weaken at all your resin. The next one is the mustard. This was the English mustard. <laughs> and actually, that has coloured much, much better than I thought it would. It's slightly, op uh, it's slightly translucent, but I think overall, a push, that would make a really good colourant for resin. I love doing these sorts of experiments. The ketchup or the tomato sauce. I, this one was the one I was worried about because tomato sauce will contain quite a bit of water. And more, as we know, water and resin don't mix very well. But it did cure up okay. I'm not sure if you put it in a really deep mould if it might cause it to flash cure. But I think that's given a consistent colour. The base is a little bit darker. I don't think I'd want to put more in than I put in. Probably about 4%, 5% of the amount of resin. I think that was ample. But overall, given a great colour. The curry powder, I think that hasn't really coloured it, but it has given it a bit of an effect. So let's have a look and see. I love these moulds. As I've said this so many times, these plant moulds are such brilliant moulds. They're my favourite moulds I've got at the moment. And actually, I think it's given a nice look to it. And it hasn't sunk in there at all because it's very light, the, the curry powder. I think that's given quite a nice, pleasant look to that little pot. I'm really surprised, I have to say, with this experiment. <laughs> I think I might have to try a few more other household things as well. Let me know what you think or if you've used any of these in your resin colour. I love that. I think that's come out lovely. And that as well. Please boot that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there. If you'd like to buy me coffee or get hold of anything that I've used today, including the resin that I use and recommend, then the links for that are in the description below. I will link another experiment video coming up after this that I think you really will enjoy. So check that one out next. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care, enjoy your resin, bye.